Welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is a general message for whoever is meant to watch it. It is collective, so take what resonates. Please like and subscribe, and we're going to get into your reading. You have the Fool card, which is a beautiful, beautiful first card for you. You're finally letting go. You have finally released something negative that does not serve your highest good. It's like you are moving on. It's like the way she has her arms in the air. It's like, yes, like finally you are free from something that was stressing you out it's like you don't care you're moving forward you're taking that leap of faith you're finally starting something new the next card is a high priestess so you're very intuitive you're very gifted some of you guys could have a cat or you connect with a um, spirit animal of a cat you could have familiars you're a tarot reader you're very intuitive with the runes i feel like you guys are definitely doing some type of divination practice here you'll be starting something new with regards to your spirituality with the page of pentacles you are you're giving I, I, oh my gosh i heard your heart you're putting your heart and soul into this it's a new beginning it's a new chapter it's exciting with the page of pentacles you are learning how to start your own business is what i'm seeing and you finally have a plan and you have positive movement forward so it's definitely a good message here some of you guys are entrepreneurs whatever business you're starting is going to be very successful then you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like someone wants to come back to give you an offer, to offer you that job, to tell you to work for them. Someone is seeing that you're moving forward and they want to come back with a Five of Cups. Could be a Taurus for Capricorn or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Take what resonates. But I feel like someone is wanting to reach out to you because they're sad that you're going to be doing better without them. There's something about competition. What is this? The Nine of Wands reversed. Yeah, because you are not burdened by this person who held you back in the past. With the Four of Cups, this person can be very sad because they see that you don't pay them any more attention. Their friends or their brothers or someone about siblings are noticing that they're sad. This could be a Leo, but it's like they're watching you be happy and start something new, a new endeavor. Some of you guys could be pregnant or you're just giving birth to a new project that's going to give you a lot of stability. For some, this could be someone who wanted to cause an imbalance in your financial success, 222. 2022 is your year you are protected here your business is protected your work is protected whoever tried to slow you down they're going to be upset because they're seeing that you're going to have stability you have a family you're happy you have a relationship some of you guys could be having kids a new addition to the family it's like you're just in this energy of stability either you're just getting along with all of your coworkers and you have stability and your money is good for sure or this person's going to watch you be in a relationship with someone else because they missed out. They missed the boat with you because they took too long or for whatever reason it did not work out. But I feel like this is about a business. It's like you're working somewhere, you're successful. This person wishes that you could have worked for them because then their business would be successful. It's like they're seeing you start something new and they're upset because they wanted to slow down your happiness and your success, but they can't. This is your blessing for sure. Random cards. Great job. Your ancestors are proud of you. Breaking generational curses. We love you. So you're definitely 333 as I was saying that. That is the angel number. You might want to look that up. It's basically saying you have ancestors here who are super proud of you because you have stepped into your spiritual strength here. Maybe this is frowned upon in your family or you're the first one to embrace your spirituality through reading tarot or being some type of energy healer light worker take what resonates but it's like you're stepping into your power and you're breaking that generational curse for sure yeah earth angel light worker chosen one oracle healer medium gifted if we're 11 exactly you are teaching other people about how to be spiritual and gifted because that is your mission and your life purpose on this earth on this planet in this lifetime and you're helping other people to heal to help them connect to their higher selves so your ancestors are so proud because you've broken some type of curse the cycle because you are stepping out of that comfort zone and that's setting the pace for future family members is what i'm seeing sorry guys i don't know what happened with my <laughs> That was weird. I was saying it's setting the pace for 444. Your angels and guides are here. You guys are star seeds. My screen turned white. And then the little like notification turned on for Siri. 
and I wasn't even saying her name. And I just said it now and it doesn't even turn on. So that was a strong message from Spirit. You have star seeds. A portal is open. Within the next 48 hours, something significant will happen. 505, positive changes, positive movement forward. I'm also getting 48 hours of the new year. So it's a new beginning, a celebration. Like, yes, an old chapter is closed. It's the end of 2021. 2022 will bring you a lot of blessings for sure. It is a time to be happy. It is a time to celebrate. It is a time of gratitude. And 111 is your last card here. You are gifted. Trust your intuition. And yes, this is a sign. And yes, it was a sign with my screen turning all white, super bright white with a little blue like circle. So I feel like it's just a matter of time before the wheel of fortune starts turning in your favor because that's what I saw in my mind's eye. But I send you many blessings. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And have a happy new year. Bye.